Hi there, this is Serwin and today I'm gonna show you the best 10 CDI tweaks for iOS 7 for May 2014. In April, developers released some great tweaks for iOS 7, so it's time to reveal the best ones for this month. Let's start with OXO. I believe many of you are familiar with this title. The first version of OXO was amazing, though OXO 2 brings the essence of its predecessor to iOS 7 by reimagining the task switching experience to become so much more. OXO 2 is comprised to three powerful features multi center, quick switcher, and hot corner. Multi center merges multitasking and control center together. It gives you the ability to slide up from the bottom middle edge of the screen to access multitasking without losing any control center features like brightness, volume control media controls and all other toggles such as airplane mode and flashlight as you can see here. Quick switcher is the fastest way to switch between your most recently used apps. Simply pull up from the bottom left of the screen to access, then slide your finger to the app you want to switch to and release, that's all. The last one is hot corner. Hot corner lets you use the bottom right edge of the screen to quickly get to your home screen as easy as blinking your eyes. Of course, you can turn off those features in settings. The second one is Asphalia. Asphalia enhances security on iOS by providing beautiful security mechanism for specific apps you choose. By setting a passcode on particular apps, only people with prior knowledge to the passcode are able to access it. However, you have the ability to advance the security of some iOS features by requiring a passcode in order to access them, like spotlight search, app arranging, slide to power off, multitasking, and finally, control center. The third one is iTunes Radio Unlimited. As you guys know, iTunes Radio is a great streaming service, but if you don't have iTunes Match subscription, you usually hear ads and you are limited to skip 6 musics per hour, which is really boring. But with this tweak, you can listen to iTunes Radio without any ads, plus you can skip musics as much as you want, as you can see right now. Let's move on to the fourth one. In order to be unique, music apps should contain some features like we have it on iTunes. Avery is a tweak which aims to improve the user experience of stock music app by bringing some features like queuing, hold down a song to get three options, play now, play next, and play last, which is really convenient. Grid mode make it possible to show albums and artists section in grid. Also, now playing can be customized as well. However, you can disable this tweak or particular features in settings. Imagine the passcode log on your iPhone gonna turn off automatically when you are at home. Well, this is possible with Safe House Pro. Safe House Pro is a tweak which automatically disables your passcode when you are at home or wherever else you are that you consider safe by checking the name of the connected Wi-Fi network. What you have to do is enter the name of your Wi-Fi in the settings section of the tweak and you are good to go. With Pro version which costs 199 USD, you have up to 5 safe houses but with the free version, only one safe house is allowed. Do you guys happen to hit someone while you're texting or even fall because you couldn't able to see your font? Well, CapText changed the message app background to the current camera view so you can always see where you are working while you're typing, which is really convenient. Let's move on to the seventh tweak, Appellancy. Appellancy is the next generation face recognition for iPhone, iPad, and iPods on iOS 7. This tweak integrates into the native look and feel of iOS 7 as well. It works like a charm as I'm gonna show you now. In order to setting up this tweak, you have to first open up the app on your home screen and tap the plus icon to create a new profile. Here you have to write down the name, whatever name you want to. Then tap on your newly created profile, then tap start to take some pictures of your face. Each time it captures up to 5 photos, try to capture around 20 samples 
then you can test it by tapping recognize button on the right hand side let's see if it recognizes steve jobs well nope it doesn't recognize steve jobs but as you can see it recognizes my face well you can also switch cameras as well let's see if it works uh, well when the iphone is on lock screen press the any button then point the camera to your face and it automatically unlock your iphone without sliding to unlock also when you slide to unlock the device it quickly recognizes your face like a charm in settings you can configure some features of this tweak if you want to you can have a look bear in mind sometimes if you have some looks and tweaks like time passcode pro or others it does not work so you have to install them first the eighth tweak is hold to speak this tweak allows you answering your calls directly on speaker to do so hold on the answer button and yeah that's all let's do some examples when you usually get a phone call you have to press the answer then tap on speaker but now when you get a phone call just hold the answer button and it answers the call directly on speaker it doesn't matter whether you are on lock screen or you are on off screen Guys, the ninth tweak is Stride. With Stride, you can unlock your device in style. What you have to do is to record custom gestures to secure your device and draw that gesture to unlock it. But passcode should be on in advance. The last one, but not least, is Tab to Unlock 7. Guys, with this tweak, you only have to tap the screen in order to unlock your device, no more swiping. In settings, you can customize this tweak, for example, you have the ability to enable or disable default unlock. Also, you can configure an option to unlock the device by tapping anywhere and so on. Well, that was all guys for this month. I hope you check them out on CDM. Also, check out the description below to see their prices and device availability. Though, don't forget to check previous month's best CDR tweaks as I'm gonna put the links in the description below as well. And I would like to thank my good friend Michael who provides me with the background music. And I put his SoundCloud account in the description below. So please check his SoundCloud to listen to some great musics. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to catch future videos as well as I'm going to upload videos every month regarding to this topic and others as well. Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great time.